Okay, so let's talk about wool. Tis yes. the season. Um, as a fabric, what do we need to understand about wool so we're treating it properly? Okay, wool is fabulous. Okay. It is such an incredible, well, there's a reason why we've been wearing it as a fabric for yeah. hundreds and hundreds and for hundreds eons. of years. Um, because, and it lasts so long. Yeah. So here's the deal with wool. And we're talking real wool, not a blend. We'll get to that in one second. Okay. So wool itself can be a bunch of different names. So wool sweater is a wool sweater. Lamb's yeah. wool, still wool. Yeah. Cashmere, wool. Alpaca, yeah. wool. Yeah. Okay. So that's all within the wool family. Yeah. And all of that comes from the hair of goats, sheep, Lamb and alpacas. Depends. And alpacas, yeah. right? But but in a very kind way. We're not there's no Yes. Yeah. One thing you need to know about Shona is she is into animals. So <laughs> yes. you're not putting on anything where an animal was hurt. So yeah. it's it's nicely sheared off them. Yeah. They need a haircut anyways. Yeah. It all grows back. No one is hurt in the process. Yes. And yeah. so so big check mark with that. But yeah. let's get to how we are gonna use it. It right. comes off they're wearing as a sweater. And it comes is this to it? us. Is this wool? Uh, this is cashmere actually yeah. that oh, I'm oh, wearing. So me. <laughs> it feels <laughs> very good. Okay, but there's affordable cashmere. Yes, there is. Relatively affordable cashmere. Yeah. But here's the deal with wool. I'm going to talk about pure wool. That's that okay. lamb's wool type scenario. Yeah. It's sustainable. Check. Yes. Okay? It doesn't biodegrade. And when it is done, it, excuse me, it does biodegrade. It does, when it yeah. is done, it doesn't go into the landfill and sit there for a million years. Good. It is water repellent. Okay. So this is why it's very good when it comes to outdoor type clothing, things like that. You get wet snow on you, you get a little bit of rain on you, and it repels it. It will okay. just trickle off of it. Good. Which also then lends to it whisking away perspiration when you're wearing yes, it. Yeah. I still like prefer to wear like a tank top or a t-shirt or, or something, something like that underneath, underneath the wool. Yeah. But you don't have to if you want to. Okay. It whisks that away. Antimicrobial. Ooh. It is because it's whisking away. Yeah. It's UV protectant. Ooh. Because we think of UV in wow, the summer. Your bad self I, wool. Right? I didn't know wool was doing all of that. It's so doing... like the wool wintery socks, this is why we wear them, the wool sweaters. Yes, we're thinking UV protection in the summer, but the yeah. sun is out in the winter. We need to do the UV protection in the summer. Totally. It's fire resistant even. What? It's hypo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, huh? it is. It okay. is. They make insulation out of wool actually okay. for houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they, uh, it's also hyperallergenic, so people with asthma, et cetera. Yeah. I mean, and this is a list. I could go on and on. There's even more. Yes. But wool really is a phenomenal product. Okay. And why are, why are some of these wool sweaters itchy? Because I cannot. Oh, yes. Yes. When you get, like, how do you know and why is it? Why are some of them itchy and some of them aren't? Yeah, it really comes down to the source, the quality, and if there's a blend. Okay. So, um, like, cashmere is not an itchy. It's known it's for its softness. Itchy. It's very famous for that. Yeah. But if you go ahead and blend in something with that cashmere, it's not 100% cashmere, an itch factor might come in there. Okay. Same with a wool that comes from a lamb versus sheep. Mm. Alpaca is very soft. Mm -hmm. So you want, if you're itch um, sensitive, mm -hmm. some people think it's an allergy. It's probably not, although, yeah. you know, teach their own. Yeah. Um, make sure you're buying the right kind for you and that Get it is pure. Wool. Yeah, yeah. Got it. And like I said, it doesn't necessarily mean expensive. Yes. Where instead of buying, we said this earlier, instead of buying, tw you know, five $20 sweaters, yeah. buy one really good sweater. And wear for it a lot. Dollars. And wear it a lot. Wear it a buy lot. your you quality can. things and wear them a lot. Yeah. That's what we need to normalize. Like, enough with the fashion hauls. Yes. You know, yeah, like yeah, buying yeah, yeah. a whole bunch of stuff and then trying them on in every color. Like, get one good thing. Yes. Um, now let's wash them. Okay. So sometimes people are like, oh, wash is too, I mean, wool is too hard to handle. Yeah. You know, too, too um, precious. Picky. Same with cashmere, you know, all those things. It's really not. Okay. Because for starters, you don't have to wash it, which sounds crazy. But because yeah. we're wicking away water, water, we're wicking away stains. Like if you were to drop like just a little bit of a coffee on it, it'll yeah. bowl and you just kind of like flick it off. Do you know what I mean? It shouldn't oh, absorb so it into the fabric. It shouldn't stay in your Not bowl. right away. Now listen, you dump a plate of spaghetti on you. <laughs> I can't help you. Like I can, th Then we're going to wash. Right. And if you have worn your sweater and you feel like it's a little bit um, like uh, Musty Maybe for lack it of a better like word. like my panic sweat. <laughs> yes. You know, when you have yes. like a good old fashioned panic sweat yes. and it's like they don't, they don't smell good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So before throwing it into the wash, let's hang it first. Put it on a hanger, okay. put it outside on a sunny day, just air it out. Okay. Most of the time that's going to take care of it. Okay. But let's say you're in a situation where you do have to wash it. It's mm -hmm. so easy. You're going to get a bowl or a basin, you know, okay. something. I like a bathroom sink because it's, yeah. got, it's little and it's, it's uh, easy to use. You're just going to put a couple of drops of a delicate, gentle laundry detergent. Just Got a couple it. of drops. You don't need a lot, okay? Okay. The, 
This is a cashmere sweater. I'm going to use it as an example. This has got water. Now, right away, we think we want to go to scrub it. That's you do so not. Mean. Yes, because <laughs> that's what our that. and that's because that's what our washing machine does, right? right. It wants to agitate. Hardier fabrics can handle yes. that. We don't want to do that here because we don't want to get the bill pilling, the pilling on something like a cashmere and a pure wool. It's going to you could fray the fibers and yeah. you get the fuzziness. Okay. okay, so we're washing it and all we're doing is gently kind of massaging it. Let's say. Okay. Treat it like a bit of a, a ball of dough. Give it okay? a massage. Give it a massage. Be nice to your sweater. Yeah. If you have a little. Um, yuckiness somewhere in it, mm -hmm. gently work that stain out of whatever mm. it is. Try to avoid doing the abrasion. Okay. Just with your finger, with your nail, flick it off. That should probably take care of it. Okay, okay. now we're going to throw out the soapy soiled water. Yeah. We're going to either fill it with clean water again to get the soap out of this or rinse it under the tap generally. We want the soap you know, to obviously come out of this. Yeah. Now, when it comes to extracting the water, this is the part where I really do, I do want people to be careful with this. Okay. You don't, don't do want to like go ah. like this and like wring it because these are pliable fibers now. Okay. And so you could stretch it and warp it. It's so easy. Start at the top and just work your way down, squeezing out most of the water. Got it. Then to finish it, we're mm -hmm. going to get a, a clean towel, like a bath towel. That's all this is folded in half. Okay. And you put your now less wet, more a little more than damp, but less wet sweater. And all you're going to do is roll oh, it, the roll. pushing down. And all the leftover water moisture that's in here, most of it, yeah. is going to be absorbed by the towel. Okay? okay. If it's a very, very thick sweater, ski sweater style, we're yeah. really going in, maybe do it twice. Okay. Because it wants to repel that water. So it yeah. wants to go into the towel. Then to dry it, we're either going to pull out a clean towel yeah. and lay it really flat to dry, or these are really terrific, and you can get them every, all the home care stores like and the Amazon. Trampoline. It is. And we're going to lay it flat on the drying rack. Okay. But again, if you don't have one of these, you can use a dry towel. And just be um, cautious, conscious that you're laying out the sweater in proportion. Like, don't make one sleeve a little longer because, again, pliable fibers, we, it's going to It'll stay, that way. stay that way. And it's a time to take advantage, like myself, a tall drink of water. I want a little bit length of my sleeve. I yeah. can give it a tug and give it a little bit more length. Nice. So at no point do we throw it in the dryer. Absolutely not. Unless, <laughs> unless, unless, Just check it. Unless you want my little dog Murphy to be wearing it. Because then. It would be cute on Murph. <laughs> so cute. Everything's cute on Murph. This is a really good lesson. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're take welcome. care of your clothing. And I'm telling myself that. We're going to break. We have more coming up. Stay with us.